everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to share with you three different things you can make with two ingredient dough. If you've never heard of it, two ingredient dough is sort of like this brainchild of a lot of Weight Watchers members or WW Freestyle as it's called now, but you don't have to be on Weight Watchers or WW to enjoy this recipe. It's actually very delicious and my kids love it too and I think if you're low on time and low on ingredients, it's such a great way to make dough. So I'm going to share with you how to make the two ingredient dough obviously so easy only two ingredients plus three different things that I regularly make with it don't forget to check out the link in the description box below if you want to get the printable version of this recipe and let's get started so the basic recipe here is one part of self-rising flour and one part of fat-free Greek yogurt. So here I'm making a double recipe of this dough. So I'm using two cups of self-rising flour and two cups of the 0% fat-free Greek yogurt. Now, if you don't have any self-rising flour, you can easily make your own self-rising flour and I'll show you that next. But basically you put everything together and mix it up with a dough hook until it forms a nice soft ball of dough. If you don't have self-rising flour, just use one cup of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. And you can double that if you want to make a double recipe. And then just add your equal part of 0% Greek yogurt. And that makes a really good tasting dough as well. It becomes a four ingredient dough then, but I still like making it that way too. So let me first show you how to make my favorite thing from this dough that I absolutely love. I made a double batch, so two cups flour, two cups of the Greek yogurt, and then I divided that into eight pieces. Next, I am rolling it into a snake, and then I am pinching the ends together to form a bagel shape. Next, put them in a greased pan, and then take one egg and beat that to create a nice topping for the bagels to make them get a nice shiny glazed look. Then take that egg mixture and just brush it over top of each bagel like I'm doing here. And then you can add toppings on top of this egg mixture. So I'm adding some sesame seeds, but also that everything bagel mix or a DIY version of that everything bagel spice tastes delicious on these as well. So here's how they look just before they're put into the oven. And then you can put them in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. Here's how the bagels look coming out of the oven. They puff up so nicely with that self-rising dough or that baking powder and salt mixture you put in regular flour. And I love how browned they are on top and they're my favorite with sesame seeds. They also have a really nice consistency inside. I usually bake a whole bunch of these at the beginning of the week and then I put um, most of them in the refrigerator and then I just split them in half and toast them in my toaster at the five setting for a nice yummy breakfast. I, I like eating them plain, but you can put your favorite toppings on these. My kids love them too and they have lots of delicious protein inside. Next, I want to show you how to make personal pizzas using the two ingredient dough as a base. So I made just a single recipe of the dough, then I divided it in half into two circles. And I'm rolling these circles out with my rolling pin to create a pizza shape. Then I'm taking a baking pan and I'm greasing it and then I'm putting the dough circles into the pan just like this. Next, take some tomato sauce or you can take some pizza sauce and spread it over the bottom of the pizzas like I'm doing here. And then simply top it with your favorite topping. So these ones I actually am making for my kids who just like plain cheese pizza. So all I did was put some mozzarella shredded cheese on top and that was it. But you could put your favorite vegetables or meats, whatever you want on top of these individual pizzas. After I put all the toppings on my pizzas, I put my pizzas in the oven at about 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes or until the cheese on my pizza was nice and golden brown and the dough was nice and golden brown as well. And here's how these ones look. They're so delicious. Such an easy way to make a quick DIY pizza base with that self-rising flour and the Greek yogurt. I've sprinkled a little bit of basil on mine to make it taste extra yummy, and I love how these ones turned out. The final thing I wanna show you how to make with a two ingredient dough is some two ingredient flatbread, and I'm gonna show you how to make a really pretty charcuterie platter to go with it as well. So I made a double batch of the two ingredient dough with my self-rising flour and my 0% fat Greek yogurt, and then I cut that into eight pieces, basically just the same as I would 
when I'm making bagels. Then I took each piece and I rolled it into a circle on a floured surface. Then I took a rolling pin and I rolled those out to a nice flat circle. So quite a bit flatter and thinner than the pizza crusts. Next, heat up a pan on the stove to about a medium high heat and put the rolled out pieces into the pan. You can cook them on each side until each side turns a nice golden brown. They'll be nice and bubbly on each side. I think these kind of resemble and taste like pita bread or a little bit of naan bread, kind of a hybrid of both of those. And I think both of those are really delicious. So this is a great way to make a simple flatbread. Sometimes they even puff out quite a bit like this one. And you could also, you could almost treat it like a pita bread this way. So now I want to show you how I made a really pretty Mediterranean inspired charcuterie platter to go with my two ingredient flatbread. I just put out some bowls of peppers and some hummus and tzatziki sauce and then a few of my favorite cheeses. So some Swiss, some cheddar, um, some brie cheese. And then after the larger things are on the platter, I'm just using a cutting board from Walmart. I rolled together some uh, meats. So I have some prosciutto and some other salamis and Italian uh, meats. And then I cut my two ingredient flatbread into wedges and put that in the spaces in between so it's a really great option for a summertime meal or some summertime entertaining when you don't want to put on that stove when it's really hot put together a charcuterie platter like this with homemade two ingredient flatbread it looks so impressive and beautiful but it doesn't take long at all after I put the larger things on the platter, I'm putting some olives, some dried fruits, some nuts, and then some a couple of fruits and vegetables. I'm using some grapes and some grape tomatoes here. And then I found these pretty uh, cheese knives and things from HomeSense a little while ago and some pretty napkins, and I'm arranging it all together like this. I think this turned out so pretty. Love the addition of the homemade two ingredient flatbread. Again, I think it looks so impressive and lovely, but it's really simple to make and a great idea for your summer entertaining this year. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in those comments below if you've ever tried two ingredient dough, if you have a different way to use it. I would love to hear. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. And I'm gonna leave some more videos that I think you'll enjoy watching right up here.